If you're new to the world of Mahjong, the best place to start is with Hong Kong Mahjong. This is the Cantonese version with Hong Kong old style scoring. If you want to know more about that, there's a link below the video to a lesson playlist and a player reference that you can download so that you can learn how to play. There are instructions on the back and scoring in the middle. I'm going to do some random pulls so you can get an idea of what it's like to work with the tiles. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I'm going to do four random pulls so you can get an idea of what the game is like. We're going to do four rounds, one for each random pull. We'll start with the east round, then we'll do southwest and north. I'm also going to roll the dice just to randomize which seat we're in. That's not actually part of the game, but it can affect scoring. So I want to randomize that for practice. I want to show you the different sets we'll be working with, just so you can get an idea of what we're going for. These were pre-selected. So we have one of each suit represented here. We have the character suit. Those are cracks. This is a pair of two cracks. We have a chow, which is three in a sequence in dots. We have a three of a kind which is called a pung, and these are the one bam. This goes with the bamboo suit right here. That's a bam. So the bird goes with the bam set. So we have three numbered suits, cracks, dots, bams. Each one of those are numbered one through nine, and there are four of everything. Then we have dragons. This is a green dragon. There's a red and a white as well, and there's four of those. So this is a three of a kind of a dragon. And then we have winds. Winds, north, east, south, and west. Four of each of those. This is a pung of east, wind. So here we have pung, 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 chow, pear. That is actually a mahjong hand. Four sets or blocks and a pair. One, two, three, four, five, essentially. Five blocks four sets and a pair. The sets can be three in a sequence or three of a kind. The overall combination of your sets determine your score. That's where this comes in because they're scoring on the inside. So you can download that if you don't know how to do scoring yet. So each component may or may not provide score. And as a whole, the hand could have score as well. And that's what these random pulls are for. Practice in identifying where you can get your score. So let's do random pull one. We're gonna roll the dice. I rolled an 11. That would be seat east. No, it won't. 8, 9, 10, 11 would be west. You just count around the table. So we're going to be in west seat and it is east round. East or seat 1 is the dealer. They get 14 tiles. Non-dealers get 13. So we have 13 tiles here. These are bonus tiles, a two and a four flower. They're called flowers. They're just bonus. Those are not in your hand as you're building a hand to play. These are bonus. So we're going to remove those and get replacement tiles. So we have a two and a four. We won't get score for those. If one of those had been a three, we would get score for that. There are two sets of flowers numbered one through four. And so you have two chances to get your own flower. So we're going to draw replacements. So here we have dots, cracks, bams, winds and dragons. This is the red dragon here. So for these tiles, I would try for what's called a half flush. One suit with winds and dragons. 
and maybe even a three of a kind of a red dragon if we could get it. Any pung of red dra of dragons is worth a fawn. So that would be a good potential fawn right there. And then a half flush is three fawn. So if we discard these, draw in bams, pung the red, this would be a four fawn hand, which is not bad. So this probably would end up being a mixture of chows which are three in a sequence. For example, here's a two, three. We could do a one, two, three, or a two, three, four. This would be maybe a potential pung pair. Any pair is a potential uh, pung, three of a kind. So I think that's what I would probably do. Oh, here's another potential chow. We need the number in the middle. So we have one, two, three, four blocks, and then we still need a pair in here. So there's work to do, really, but I think a half flush is definitely possible here. Now we're going to do south round. And this time I rolled a 10. 10 would be south, seat two. For this set of tiles, we have a pung of twos, two bams, but look at all these cracks. I think I would try to pair up and play all pung just so I could use these twos. We'd have a long way to go though because these are set up for chows. One, two, five, seven, eight. I think what I would do is hold those as long as possible, discard these first and then see if I could draw in cracks and honors and then sacrifice the two bams for a half flesh, which is three fawn. All pung, which is all three of a kind, that's also three fawn, but we, on, we only have one block that can be used for pungs. These are all singles. And singles, if the drawing goes well, could become chows. We have a one, two, we need a three. We have a five, seven, we need a six, seven, eight, six or nine would work there. So we would just have to wait and see, but I think I would be flexible, may or may not use these, as good as they look. This is stronger. Westron. Seat two. For this set of tiles, we have a mixture. We have four bams, four dots, two cracks, and a few honors. We are in west round, and we are seat two. So this is south. This would be our seat wind if we paired up and got a pung. I think what I would probably do is play all chow, because we do have some chow potential in here, right here here, here, and here. If we play all chow, that's one fawn. We have no flowers currently, so that would be another fawn. That would be two fawn. Or if we pair up that south and let that be our fawn, then we could maybe do a pung of our seat wind and no flowers. That's a little risky though, because the minute you draw a flower, if it's not your seat flower, you lose the no flower fawn. So be careful planning that one in. I try not to do that. I think I would rather go for all pung or half flesh because those are guaranteed three fawn. The problem here is we have an equal mixture of dots and, and bams. So this is gonna be a real challenge. It would be a race against the wall. All chow, no flowers. That would be two fawn. Thank you. 
North round, last one. This time we're going to be in 10. 10 again is South. For this particular set of tiles, I would try for a half flesh. Potential chow, potential chow, or potential chow, potential pung of dragon. That alone would be a fun if we could get a pung. Half flesh, dragon pung, that would be for fun. Now, I would hold this for as long as possible. If we got more pairs, we could pung, pung, pung. All pung, even in mixed suits, is three fawn. So three fawn, dragon pung would be another fawn that would also be four fawn. That's, that's the only time mixing suits in the numbered tiles would be okay is if you're doing all pung. You just don't want to mix suits with all chow. That would drive your score down by three. Try not to do that. I would discard these. I hope that gave you a good idea of what it's like to play Mahjong. It's a lot like Remy, actually. Four sets and a pair. Sets can be three in a sequence, which is called a chow, three of a kind, which is called a pung, or four of a kind, which is called a kong. So you need four sets and a pair. That would be Mahjong. And then, of course, you know, the complexity of scoring comes in. And you can download that player reference in a link below the video. And watch the uh, lesson playlist, too. That'll help. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.